Dr Moxon, thank you so much for joining us. I explain what this test and this trial is doing. Yeah, so well, the interesting thing is there's actually two trials going on side by side and in collaboration, one at University College London and one at the University of Oxford. And what they're trying to do is test uh, at UCL the most pr promising uh, sort of blood test to detect Alzheimer's disease early. What Oxford are doing is actually looking at a whole host of potential tests to look at a lot of different dimensions, including Alzheimer's. And the goal really is to try and pull the diagnosis forwards because the issue we have in treating patients with dementia is that by the time they get diagnosed, unfortunately at the moment, it's too late to really help those patients in any significant way. We need what we have with cancer, which is a way to catch it early and get that therapy in as early as possible and actually impact the lives of the patients who have dementia, which we can't currently do to any significant degree. Because th that's interesting, because most people think there is pretty much nothing that can be done at any stage of uh, Alzheimer's. Yeah. And I know, you know people also confuse Alzheimer's with, with other dementias. Um, yeah. But you're saying, actually, the earlier you can diagnose that there is... Because my understanding is that there is a drug that can halt... Um, the progression of Alzheimer's, but it can't reverse it. Yeah, it can only do so much. It's sort of once you board that train, it's only going in one, in one direction. But what's really interesting is before a patient develops what we would say is typical Alzheimer's, you know, when it's past that point of no return, we do know from studies that there's a therapeutic window where they have something called mild cognitive impairment, where they're, they're seeing signs of mental decline. But we know that in those cases, there's the opportunity to reverse that but it's the question of how do we detect that early enough in as many patients as possible to enact those therapies that we're starting to see come through now in those early stages. And if we can combine the two, this advent of new therapies with their blood tests that can help us diagnose the diseases earlier, we can really start to make a big significant difference in the, in the lives of those patients. And when you're talking about early, are you talking about saying, you know, let's test you know, hundreds or thousands of people in their 50s or in their 60s or even earlier than that? Or you know, is there a sort of sweet spot? I, I know you're saying, I guess, the sweet spot is to detect it I don't know, maybe five or 10 years earlier than, than it would have become obvious. But of course, you never know when that's going to be. Yeah, I mean, any earlier is better than we have now. The thing with a disease like Alzheimer's disease or any other dementia-causing disease, they generally sort of manifest over decades. It's a long developing disease. And so we don't really know how early we can detect it. You know, it could be 10 years, it could be five years, it could be 30 years, we don't know. We know that there's risk factors. We know that there's things we can do with our lifestyle to massively reduce our impact and our risk of developing dementia. In terms of how far back we can detect it, we don't know yet. It's very much a case of as early as possible is what we're aiming for. And how many people, was it 5,000 people are going to take part? I mean, you, you, you're saying that there are two trials, the London one and the Oxford one. And how, how many yeah. people are they are going to take part in those? Do you know? Yes. So looking at about 5,000, there's a really nice post on the Alzheimer's Research UK homepage where you can read more about this. And they're actually recruiting people for those trials. So if you are interested, you can go through Dementia Platforms UK and look into that. But I believe it's around 5,000 patients with a hope to actually deliver this to the NHS within five years, which is actually quite an impressive turnaround time if, if, if they manage it. Yeah, it definitely is. Well, I'm quite interested in taking part. I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure a lot of people will. Given that what you've said is that this could actually um, be reversed or halted, whereas most people think, why would I want to know when there's nothing yeah. I can do about it? But actually you're saying there is, there is a glimmer of hope there. So that's really fascinating. Dr Moxon, thank you very much for joining us on TV this afternoon.